The last few years have been very exciting for MS treatments. The treatments for MS have doubled in number over the last decade, and that's been very exciting for both the treatment of relapsing MS and uh, a more aggressive form of MS called progressive MS, or primary progressive MS. Over the last decade, it's been a very exciting time uh, for MS research and advancements. There's been eight new therapies approved for MS in the last seven years, and that gives us a lot of opportunity to help our patients more at preventing MS lesions from coming on, preventing new relapses, and even halting progression of the disease. Ocrevus was approved in March of 2017. What makes it unique was it was also approved for primary progressive MS, a form of MS that occurs in about 10 or 15% of people at onset uh, that is often quite aggressive and something we haven't had a good handle on treating before. Uh, and this does show some promise to halting or slowing at least the progression of that disease. The risks include infections, and that's probably the biggest risk. Infections including uh, herpes virus infections, including shingles, uh, has been seen in this medication. Infections including a, a debilitating and commonly deadly brain infection called PML is uh, an infection that we worry about with medications across the board that suppress the immune system to some degree. And that has been seen in drugs like Acrevis um, and uh, has been seen widely in some other MS medications also and something to watch out for and discuss. In addition, the risks uh, are the infusion reactions. So when this drug does attack the immune system, it often causes some reactions during that infusion. And so during the infusion, we give medications to help prevent those reactions from happening. So one of the issues with uh, any clinical trial is it does take parameters to enroll patients based on certain characteristics. And for the Acrevis trial for primary progressive MS, those patients, uh, many of them had very active disease with new brain lesions, brain lesions that were enhancing, that was one of the caveats of the benefits for this medication is it may benefit those most with more active disease and more recent onset of primary progressive MS. Secondary progressive MS is a type of MS that happens typically decades after the start of relapsing forms of MS, and that was not studied for this drug, Acrevis, um, and not well studied for many of our other medications. And at this point, uh, we're not clear of how to treat that best. New treatments for MS have been rapidly advancing in the last uh, decade, and it's been quite exciting because that gives us the opportunity to treat our patients and prevent them from having new MS lesions, new MS relapses, and really stabilize their, their symptoms. Um, the excitement for MS treatments also reaches into the research realm where there are a lot of research studies for MS ongoing right now, a lot of new therapies to prevent MS from getting worse, but also to improve current function, which I think is one of the most exciting parts for MS treatment and research right now, is to improve the symptoms that you have right now from MS. And that includes trials that we're doing here at Virginia Mason through the Benarero Research Institute uh, for both primary, secondary, progressive, and relapsing forms of MS. Uh, that are very promising.